about Ayuk. I'm not saying he is he going to have a breakout season. He had a very promising rookie year with some injuries. This year he was put on ice for no good reason and then came on strong the second half of the year. Now he's entering year three, which is when it's when Debo went crazy. It's when it's when Warner went crazy. It's when Kittle went crazy. The Niners have really had a tradition of year three guys. One of them going berserk is is Brandon. Are you going to be the one who picks up the baton? He could, uh, for the reasons why I just talked about Kittle, is I think the guys on offense are limited by the quarterback. And Ayuk could have – Debo could have a crazier year next year receiving because his his limitations catching the ball won't be as much with Trey Lance playing. So, yeah, I think you could see a jump in productivity from all these receivers. I think Including. so, too. And I think Ayuk's going to be one of the main ones because, to me uh, – Debo is such a – I mean, Debo's going to have a a big role in, no matter who the quarterback is. But Debo and Kittle were very Jimmy-specific. They're yards after the catch guys. Yeah, they're, they're, Debo specializes in catching screens and running as a running back. Kittle, same way. I mean, I do think all of them have a deep element to their game. Debo can get deep. Kittle can get deep. But that's really what I does. He's not the yards after the catch guy that those two are. He does most of his work. 10 yards down the field. Jimmy doesn't even see that far. It's like he has cataracts. He doesn't even look that far. So I think having a a quarterback who wants to throw the ball outside the numbers, who wants to throw the ball down the field, is going to benefit Ike greatly. And uh, he may have more targets than Kittle next year. I don't know. Yeah, that that vertical route, that go route that Ike ran, I think uh, you could correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the only one he threw all season. I don't remember him throwing another one. I'm just saying, I, I think people are going to – Ayuk is going to be a lot – he has a lot more there. Kind of like how Cooper Cup exploded this year. Cooper, Everyone knew Cooper Cup was good, but he was playing with Jared Goff. Then now he starts playing with Matthew Stafford. And it's like, oh, my God, this guy is the best. And I'm not saying Ayuk's going to be all pro next year, but I think we're going to say, like, he was always good. And now that you have a, a quarterback who doesn't freaking freeze him out for months at a time, I think Ayuk can – Trey have a really good relationship. They've worked out together for a very long time. I think he's going to look his way. If you're a fantasy football player, you might want to invest in Brandon Ayuk. Uh, I I also think I, I think Debo has been penciled in as this as a yak guy because of Jimmy Garoppolo. If you watch his highlights in college, he was not that guy. He was he would this catch true. vertical passes. So I'm super interested to see next year is. What does Debo look like in the Trey Lance offense? He just dropped a bunch of passes this year and doesn't have long arms. He's a great wide receiver, but that's an obvious limitation. And that's why they use him in so many different ways. That's why he's more of a gadget guy than a traditional wide receiver. I mean, I think Ayuk has more to offer than what Jimmy was able to take advantage of. Yeah, he's Jimmy was able to, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously Debo does too. Obviously they all do. They all do. But Ayuk wasn't able to flourish with Jimmy the way Kittle and Debo was were able to. I just don't think he that's his game. He can do some after the catch stuff, but he's gonna flourish with Trey unless I'm totally wrong. Calling it, calling my shot like Debo. True Sav Comedy says dipped in sauce. I floss. Tycoon. R.I.P. The Mac. If you know, you know. People from New York just definitely don't. People from New Jersey just don't know. They just don't know. How many side shows have you been to? Zero. Do I look like a guy who's chilling on Mac, ninety eighth, two in the morning? My mom wouldn't let me be out there. My my. Curfew was 11 until I was 18. So, no, I haven't been to a sideshow. They're dangerous. People turn in tight ones. Donuts, they could get out of hand. Are there yeah. any better DBs the Niners could trade for a sign free agency on the horizon? I think the two the two guys, that, the two major DBs that are going to be on the market, I think, are uh, – or I don't think it's going to be J.C. Jackson because I don't think I don't think he's going to hit the market. I think he's going to get franchised um, because that's the one everybody likes. Uh, but it's going to be Gilmore because Carolina didn't resign him, and, and then it's going to Jason be Barrett. the the corner the corner from Green Bay um, that resigned off the practice squad and had a Pro Bowl year. I forgot his name. Razul Douglas. Razul Douglas. Yes. Yes. Razul Douglas. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually from. He's actually from. He's local. He's not too. He's from not too far from here. Yeah, here being New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. Alpha Bunny says, "Love your work, Grant. Always look forward to the vids throughout the week. Trey is here. Play the kid. Play the kid. Yes, 
And they're going to. Sal Jeezy says, since Jimmy is gone, what's Shani's timeline since now? His excuse is gone. He got an extension, but if he misses the playoffs next year, then the seat should be warm at least even with Trey. Yep, a lot of, lot of uh, pressure. Fan base isn't trying to see them not make the playoffs next year. Next year. Man, yeah. I don't think. I don't know if the seat gets warm. Yeah, he just made the NFC. He just made the <laughs> NFC championship game. Man, I, I was with you. We were talking earlier in the season, and they were, you know, they were three and five, and it didn't look like that they they might met, they might miss the playoffs, but they just made the NFC championship. That seat's not warm. Just remember though that what's his face? Doug Peterson won a Super Bowl and got fired. Two years later, three years later, three years later, because he messed up a quarterback transition similarly. That's so true. Saying, don't take it for granted, Kyle. Kyle, if Chiefs can figure out the cap with a fifty hundred million dollar quarterback in a stack team, how the hell won't the Niners be able to do it with a rookie quarterback? They will. Uh yeah, but the thing about <laughs> Mahomes actually had a lower cap number this year than Lance. Mahomes cap number has been super low forever. It's about it's to about- go up. Yes, and I think you're kind of already seeing what's happening in that team, but his act he was actually super cheap this year, so we haven't seen that yet. Correct, yep. it's going to be a different ball game this coming up here when they actually start to get impacted by Mahomes' seller cap. Yeah, that's true. Jacob says this team looking real scary next year. Lance Mitchell, Debo, I Kittle, they're going to do amazing next year. Projecting stats for Lance 3,600 uh, yards, 26 TDs, 600 rushing yards, seven rushing TDs. Yeah, I, to me, this is the kind of supporting cast and team that boost quarterbacks numbers and the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't throw more than 20 touchdown passes with all that around him is surprising. And I think, uh, revealing that's the word. It's, it's amazing that they got that deep in the playoffs with that quarterback play. It's well, they had divine intervention. That helped. <laughs> they wouldn't have beaten the Packers without God coming down and blocking a punt. <laughs> he did. I was there. I saw it. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell I was, me nothing. I was like dripping his blood in the cauldron. And we're like, just like <laughs> that is how they won the Green Bay game, dude. Blood. Sacrifice. It's true. Yeah, blood sacrifice. Voice ad agency says I always felt when Jimmy Garoppolo plays, most of the time one receiver shines. The limited time Trey Lance has played, everyone gets to sit at the table and eat. It's true. I agree. How many three hundred yard games has Jimmy thrown for? It's like. Do you want to, do you want to get, can I get the answer to that? Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Because that's that's why these guys aren't getting getting all their their stats. Okay, here we go. Career game logs. Let me do this real quick. Yards. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> One, two, uh, three, four, five, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 Oh, my God. Ten and 52 starts. Wow. He did it. Ten of them. I'm impressed. That's seven more than I thought. Seven more than I thought. Maybe they should keep him. Ten? Oh, my God. Hold on. I think there's a couple more, and then we're going to end the show. I think there's a couple more. Nope, there's no more. No more. Well, so, this has been a really great show. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you got it. Hope everybody has said their goodbyes to, to Jimmy G. And- oh, Jimmy. I, I'm going to miss Jimmy, man. What are you going to miss most about Jimmy? His class or his professionalism? Gonna miss. <laughs> I'm going to miss talking about him on Twitter. So. I think the thing that I don't like about Jimmy – he is professional and stuff, but he seems so prepackaged. It feels like he spends more time thinking about how he wants to present himself to the media in the world than how he's going to play quarterback. He's very into his image and how he talks and saying the right thing and not offending anyone. But when it comes to playing quarterback, I mean, you know, footwork all over the place, decision making is terrible, football IQ, like he doesn't think about the game, but he's real, real dialed into the press conference. That's my issue with him, man. He's so – and he tries to come across as authentic and he drops an F-bomb or he curses here and there. But even that feels rehearsed. It's, it feels like he spends hours with Don Yee being like, all right, this time I want you to curse once. Give it a shot. 
They, they like it. It's endearing. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna practice. Say the F word right now. And he's like, okay, that was good. Now do it a little bit more, less stiff. You know, like that's how he comes across to me, like the most rehearsed person, personality of all time. And I think I like Jimmy Ward because he doesn't come across that way at all. Like he just seems normal. Anyway, I guess and that's how quarterbacks are. But that's my impression of Jimmy G. It's never, Thank it's you. Never, it's, bad. it's never Jimmy's bad, right? Like it's, it's never his bad. And it, it, his his down to earthness is rehearsed. His normalness is rehearsed. And eh, all I see is a very rich person who's not as normal as he thinks he is. So I appreciate that he tries so hard to be professional, but to me, it all feels fake. It feels fake. So maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, farewell, Jimmy.